Hello there and welcome to this iOS filmmaking tutorial. Today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the standard iPhone camera app. So here we are, here's the app open and the default position is on the photo setting. But because we want to shoot video, let's go ahead and click on the video setting. And the first thing that you can see is that for some reason the camera has cropped the image. I, I've no idea why it does that. Uh, and we've also lost the HDR, the flash options, uh, the, the looks and the timer uh, options in the, in the left hand side of the, the screen there. Instead the, the flash option has moved to the top and it's in this kind of greyed out little bar at the left there. It's that lightning bolt with a line through it indicating that the camera light is not functioning. And we can switch it on by clicking on the little lightning bolt and hitting on. And as you can see, the image has just got a little bit brighter. Um, the, the camera light on the iPhone uh, isn't that brilliant. You're not going to, to get anything further than a couple of meters away. But you know, if, if you've got something fairly close to you and you're in the dark, um, it will certainly do a fair job of lighting it up for you. Uh, to switch it off, we touch the lightning bolt again and go to off. Next to the lightning bolt, we have a series of six zeros. This is what in the industry we call uh, time code. Uh, now, on the professional cameras, you have four sets of zeros. Uh, the, the, the ones on the extreme right hand side would refer to the frames, but because the iPhone isn't that technical, it doesn't need frames. Uh, and in this particular instance, the two left hand zeros are, they, they refer to the uh, the hours of, of the clip that you've just shot, uh, the middle two zeros are how long it is in minutes, and the two right hand zeros are the seconds. Then we obviously have the big red button on the right hand side. This starts and stops the iPhone recording video. So let's just go ahead and hit that and start recording some video. So here we go. We've got uh, the little red tally light by the time code flashing, indicating that we are actually recording. Uh, and you can see the time code in, uh, going around again, confirming that we're recording. One of the great things about the iPhone is that uh, you can touch the screen while the camera is recording and you can bring up the focus and the exposure bar. And you can slide this across. Uh, so for instance, let's just get our focus and exposure on the on the light there and if I take my finger off that is now locked uh, and you'll see that there's a little sun icon if if for some reason we think that that's too bright or it's um, too dark we can manually increase the, um, the, the the exposure by sliding our finger up to make it brighter and sliding our finger down to make it darker so I'm just going to bring it up to what I think is the correct well, it's there and, and when you have this as well, the, the focus is also locked. So for instance, if somebody was to walk behind that lamp now, uh, the camera would not try and hunt the focus and, and try and focus on that person. It's locked on the lamp. Uh, and alternatively, if we wanted to change the focus to the back wall, uh, we can move it and touch it against the back wall. And as you can see, it says auto exposure, auto focus lock. And uh, there's not a great deal of depth between the lamp and the wall, so you're not going to see a huge amount of difference in the focus, but um, that's one of the, the really cool features. So let's just stop recording there for a second. Now, one of the other great features of the iPhone camera is that it can do slow mo and time lapse. So let's just have a quick look at the slow mo setting by going over to slow mo. Uh, and again, it looks very similar to the um, to the video camera app. The the images is slightly noisier, uh, and that's because uh, well, it, primarily here because we're we're shooting in a fairly dark area. But um, the the slow mo has to use a higher frame rate, and when you use a higher frame rate, the the camera has to do a lot lot more work uh, increasing the exposure to get get enough light in to get an exposure. So that's why it's slightly grainy. The best time to do a slow mo would be when you have plenty of light, uh, and then it wouldn't be quite so grainy. So let's go and have a look at the time lapse setting. 
Uh, uh, and this is really pretty cool. Basically what happens is that the camera will shoot uh, a frame uh, at a set interval. So that interval might be one frame every second. And because the camera needs, well, if you're running what we call the NTSC system, that's the, the video system that's used in the United States, it will shoot 30 frames every second. Or if you're using the PAL system in Europe, that's 25 frames a second. So as I said, the, the camera will shoot approximately one frame every second. So in 25 seconds of actual time elapsed, it will shoot one second of video. So if you leave the camera there for you know, 25 minutes, you've got a minute of time-lapse video. So let's just go back to the video setting. So as you can see in the top right hand corner, you've got another little camera icon with some arrows and a circular design in it. This just switches the iPhone from the rear facing camera. So that's the, the camera on the side away from the screen. And you can switch that then to the, to the camera that's on the screen side. Now these two cameras have different resolutions. The, the rear facing camera has, has a much better resolution than the, the, the front facing camera. So if you're going to shoot video that you want to look really nice, I would always recommend using the rear facing camera and never use the front facing camera. So there we go, that's the iPhone camera app in a nutshell. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment and share and check out some of my other videos.